employers continue facing challenges with attracting and retaining workers, including in Northeast Indiana. At Wayne 15's Josh Ayan joins us with more details on why employers should prioritize mental health to address this shortage. Good morning, Josh. Good morning, Emily and Pat. Well, mental health continues to be a focal point during this pandemic as those facing anxiety and depression have seen it affect their work-life balance. Joyce Martyr, a nationally recognized counselor, has worked with employers to be more open about mental health in the workplace. Some employers are now offering apps like Ginger, Calm, and Headspace as part of their benefits package. She's also coached supervisors to approach employees who might be feeling burnt out. By addressing these issues head on, it will not only break the stigma of mental illness, but it will also go a long way in sustaining a healthy workforce. I think sometimes we're socialized that it's not appropriate to talk to somebody about their mental health and people think that they're being polite by ignoring it, but it's actually the more kind and compassionate thing to address it and to say something and to say, you know, hey, I noticed some differences in you and how are you? Are you okay? Now, Martyr will be in Fort Wayne later this month for Mental Health America of Northeast Indiana's Well to Work event, which is catered towards employers and supervisors. To learn more about this event and register, you can find the full story right now on Wayne.com. For the Wayne.com studio, Josh Hagan, Wayne 15 News.